way did you go? Oh, wow. This has to be the new treehouse. There's a video game system in here. I got the driver's seat. No way. We can finally uproot that large oak tree and bring it with us. I'll watch the door. All right, squirrels, let's roll out. So I say Garmadon, more like Garmadum. <laughs> hey, where did the land bounty go? I thought I parked it right here. Uh-oh, what's that sound, Jay? Look out! Squirrels without driver's licenses! Uh -oh, whoa! Squirrels, they're worse than snakes. Squirrel stampede! I'm gonna grow you into the biggest acorn tree ever! On the table with Lego Ninjago, set number 70677, Land Bounty. 1,178 pieces with an army of nine minifigures. On the back of the box, we are driving and flying with the Land Bounty with dangerous lower spinning stars, escape vehicles, weapons everywhere, and of course, projectiles. Inside the box, how to build a Lego Ninjago land bounty. Sales included. And some stickers and flags. Bag one of pieces. Bag two. Three. Four. Shut the door. Five are alive. Six. Seven. Eight. And an extra bag of wheels. And another bag of hubcaps. That's what you need to build a land bounty. Now let's build it. And that's how I lost the droids again. Unbelievable. Oh, hey, look! Luke, wait! <whistles> this reminds me of my T-16 Skyhopper back home. Can I give it a ride? What? It looks nothing like it. Sure it does. I used to target Womp Rats back home as I flew through Beggar's Canyon. Here I go again. But Luke, the droids. Oh, don't worry about those old crusty droids, old man. Luke's gotta fly!
I'm telling you, Alex, I can't find my gold armor helmet anywhere. I guess you'll have to forge a new one. Yeah, I really liked that one, though. It was so shiny. Hmm. Huh. Huh. Found my new helmet, Alex. And it's even more fancy than the original. Da 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 da. I need to find a new friend.
constructed we have the land bounty. What a grand set. Now admitting I am lost in Ninjago watching is quite the understatement. I am way behind any story arc to know where this thing shows up. I just knew it was simply beautiful from the moment I saw my eyes on it and had to construct. Surprisingly, I've never had a chance to build any of the other bounty sets. I think what really stood out on this one was the ability to have it on land with wheels. Makes it a little easier to play with on tabletop, and then I don't have to worry about hanging it from my ceiling and then hitting me on my head. So right now the squirrels have taken over the land bounty, they are on top riding away. This impressive six-wheeled vehicle moves about so well. Notice the lower rotating shuriken slicers on the side. So this vehicle not only saves the day, but does some great edging to people's gardens. We have a steering function with the front four wheels. On the back of the land bounty, we have a gear to rotate those wheels. It's a little bit of a tight, difficult maneuver, and it helps move about your land bounty on a large tabletop. Resting on top of the land bounty, we have a detachable flyer. With two squirrels on right now, we can remove and fly off into battle. We'll look at it a little closer in just a second. Maybe if we can move a few more squirrels off to the side, we can take a look at the core main land bounty. This vehicle is loaded with detail and a small weapon item elements are everywhere. Which reminds me, Steve, I need the little metal tassel back. So many small golden details going on with the set. In the back we have a retractable spring-loaded cannon. To activate, turn the dial on the side. And there is our twin needle projectile darts from LEGO. Rotate any different way, click in and fire. I think I saw where that one landed. We also have a rotating cannon on this side, which also features small little projectiles, the basic LEGO cannon. Pull back and shoot and lose. If you need to get inside the play elements of the land bounty, remove your cannon plate up here. And we have a lovely driving and living quarters inside here full of all the Ninjago weapons, a video game system, and some tea. Also in the back of the land bounty, we have a small vehicle, a small quad bike to drive about. Back to that squirrelless flyer up top. It's a little more than just a small flyer, actually. It may represent up to a quarter of the land bounty size. Up on top, we have the land bounty's controls, and we can open up this really creative flap system to reveal a two-figure cockpit inside with plenty of room in there. The wings also fold out. One will position the other one and you can fly around for super thrust speed. And the landing back down. So plenty of play elements on this set. Vibrantly designed red and white dragon sail wings up on top. Land bounty set identification stickers. And again, weapons everywhere on this thing for battle. So what do we have for the minifigures? We have Wu, Nia, Wow, it's been so long, I almost called her Naya. Or was it Naya? Kai! One of my favorites, Jay! Cole FS? What does the FS stand for? Fiery Speed? He does have the extra 2019 spinning element to put him in. Oh, sorry. As for the Serpentine, or was that Slytherin? Serpentine Army. We have Queen Aspirna! Did I get the pronunciation right? Char! A Pyro Slayer! And a Pyro Destroyer. Nine very fancy LEGO Ninjago minifigures included. That's a full army size. That's a really good quantity match for a set this size. They could have easily skimped on the bad guys. I totally enjoyed building this set. Keep an eye out for it. It runs approximately $129.99. I believe as we get closer to Christmas 2019, you'll find some really good deals on it. For the size of set, all the minifigures included, and what it can do, there is a lot of LEGO value in it. Now I just have to catch up to my Ninjago watching and see this thing in action. 
That's what I have to say about that.